Good. Here we go. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for coming here tonight. Um, let me just share my screen to do the presentation. Um, there must be a way of making this bigger. So, as always, welcome to Kula Brajrana Europe Online. Um, people keep asking us what Brajrana means, and it's basically just illuminating the Kula and allowing the light of the Kula to shine, a space basically to share our, our love for Anusara, our love for yoga. As always, I ask you to mute your microphones and use the chat to ask questions and, um, and communicate with, with us. Uh, Kula Brajrana is, uh, is, is formed by a group of country coordinators. Here you can see our pictures. Uh, and um, we are all active members of Anusara School of Hatha Yoga. We are following the steps of Maduri Martin and Lisa Long in the States who came together to create the beautiful Samudra Shakti online. So we got inspired by that and then we created Kula Brajrana. Now we go to our presenter. Today I'm super happy to have hey, Kristinka Maslavska with us, who is a certified Anusara yoga teacher and um, also uh, register with the Yoga Alliance with the RYT 500, congrats on that. She has over 15 years of experience. Um, she offers daily practice, daily classes, workshops and seminars in Anusara yoga, prenatal yoga, yoga for arthritis. And she also has been a Pilates equipment coach since 2018. Her classes are characterized by a playful spirit, dynamic asana, therapeutic approach, and heartfelt communication with her students. She is also the founder of Radayam <laughs> Yoga Center in the city of Kalamata in Greece. She is Bulgarian, and, but lives in Greece from the last 26 years. Today, she will lead us into uh, asana practice. I'm stopping my screen share uh, about back bends, and I'm really looking forward to practice once we have recorded this. So, nothing more to say. Please, Fishtinka, take the microphone and lead us into your beautiful practice. Thank you. Thank you very much, Letizia, for having me. And uh, uh, thank you, everybody, for joining. Welcome. And uh, please feel comfortable in your space. Make sure you have everything you need, like maybe a yoga block or belt or pillow um, around you or a bottle of water. Just be comfortable and don't hesitate to take a step back when you need it and just sit and watch and listen if something feels challenging for you, okay? Our class is going to be on backbends and I have with me Anna, Anna Kutuspiro, a yoga teacher from Greece. She is going to demonstrate the asanas for us while I'll be able to watch you and guide you better. And thank you, Anna, for that. Our, our theme today is about um, uh, supporting Dharma, holding Dharma in our daily life and in our practice and uh, having finding the courage to do that. Uh, I am inspired by uh, the scripture of the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, I was studying the last two months and uh, I felt like the whole story is coming alive in front of me in my classes and in my life. And I, I decided to share that with you tonight. So as some of you, or maybe everybody are familiar with the story of the Gita, 
uh, Bhagavad Gita means the song of God, the song of the adored one. And um, in that uh, text, the story goes like, we have two heroes, two basic heroes, Arjuna and Krishna. And Arjuna is a, a prince whose family is split into parts, the family of Pandavas, and they found themselves on the battlefield fighting for who is going to rule the kingdom. And uh, Arjuna is standing in the middle and he, he has his friends and family from the one side and friends and family from the other side. And he is right in the middle and wondering, oh my God, what should I do now? How should I act? How should I um, choose from that place where to stand, what to do? And thankfully, he is blessed with the presence of Krishna. Krishna is uh, right by his side as his advisor, his soul friend and charioteer. He offers himself to be with him in that uh, dilemma he, he is facing. So Arjuna is uh, a gifted young man, very skillful, very beautiful and athletic and strong, but he also possesses a good heart, a sweet, soft heart. And he is uh, very emotional about all these things. And he says, okay, Krishna, I, I see the situation, but I, I don't want anybody to be hurt. I don't want anybody to die or kill or whatever. So he is very afraid and stressful and anxious about that. Like us sometimes when we face battles in our life, when we found ourselves on the battlefield and uh, we actually don't know what is the right action, what is the right thing to do, what I stand for right now. So Krishna is there to encourage him and um, try to teach him and make him to understand the nature of life and death, the nature of karma and uh, rebirth and incarnation and all these concepts. So Arjuna is turning to Krishna and says, please, I need your help. So they go together in the chariot and they take around the battlefield and they go there to see who is on the other side actually who's who is on the other side of the battlefield and Arjuna sees that there are his uh, friends his teachers his grandfather and um, many other members of the family and he gets devastated and says oh now I that I really see who is on the other side I am discouraged to to act and uh, he he went there in order to see closer and maybe to understand better, to have the bigger picture. And Krishna says, you know, Arjuna, this is your duty. This is your dharma. You, sh you should act as a warrior. You are a kshatriya. Kshatriya is the highest level of warrior in um, the, the, the situation there in the Hindu system of castes, however. So he tries to uh, empower him and gives him the remembrance that, you know, you are a warrior, you should do your duty. You should, you were born for that. You are trained for that and you're skillful enough. So it's your purpose. Arjuna says, you know, I understand that. I, 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 I hear you, but I don't feel you in my. I don't feel it in my heart. I need something to move me. I need to understand something. So please help me with that. And basically, this is the conversation between. Uh, if we if we see it symbolically, not literally, um, this is a conversation between the individual soul and the self. The the 
limited edition <laughs> or form, uh, our human form with our bigger divine form. So the, the limited form needs answers. And that this is all about. So finally, he throws the ball down. Arjuna was a very good archer and he was holding a ball. And he said, I'm throwing that ball down. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not fighting. And he sits down and looks at Krishna. And this is the moment where Arjuna becomes a student of Krishna. So he sits down and he's opening his ears and eyes and mind. And he he's ready to receive answers. And um, he asks Krishna, who are you? Please show me your real form. Please let me see. I want to see you. I want to see your real form. You, you tell me all that, how you know it. Who are you? And then Krishna is ready to, to reveal itself. And Arjuna also is ready to go deeper. This is my favorite part of the story, actually. Uh, it's uh, chapter 11, well, when Krishna is revealing his real image. And because I have that beautiful book, you may know, the Bhagavad Gita from Eknat Eshwaran, uh, in one of the stanzas here, is very beautifully described, and I would like to read and share it with you exactly how Nat Ishvaran write it. So the moment where Krishna comes from his limited form to his divine form and uh, Sanjaya, Sanjaya is the man who is telling the story. Sanjaya says, having spoken these words, Krishna, the master of yoga, Reveal it to Arjuna his most exalted divine form. He appeared with an infinite number of faces, ornamented by heavenly jewels, displaying unending miracles and the countless weapons of his power, floated in celestial garments and covered with garlands, sweet smelling with heavenly fragrances, he showed himself as the infinite Lord, the source of all wonders, whose face is everywhere. If a thousand suns were to rise in the heavens at the same time, the blaze of their light would resemble the splendor of that supreme spirit. There within the body of God of gods, Arjuna saw all the manifold forms of the universe united as one. Fill it with amazement, his hair standing on end of ecstasy. He bowed before the Lord with joined palms and spoke these words. Oh Lord, I see within your body all the gods and every kind of living creature. And then he continues in a big, uh, um, like, part of a text, which I'm going to stop for now. And this is the most important, uh, for me, the most important part of the Gita, where Arjuna is seeing the bigger picture. He is facing and experiencing uh, the power, the beauty, and the, the amazing uh, light of the divine. And he says, okay, now I see. But simultaneously, he is a bit afraid, and he says, "Oh my God, what is this? Thousands of suns, fires, and blazing <laughs> rays." He says, "Please, Krishna, can you return in your uh, of I come as I know you?" Is exactly how sometimes we we see the bigger picture, we experience something amazing and we feel the essence in our heart, but then we must go back 
to the practical stuff, we must go back to the limited form and we must go to the known in order to feel safe and open even more. So Krishna gets back to his form, the known form of Krishna uh, with four hands and the discus and his ornaments and says, you know, I am the time. I am here to consume everything and everybody. So it, this is already done as you saw and as you understand. Now, um, Krishna is uh, buzzed and dazzled in uh, ecstasy and he is empowered and strong. And he says, yes, now I see. Now I understand. So basically he had kind of samadhi experience and then he is back to the form he knows and everything is there and now he understands how to act he understands what is dharma and uh, the dharmic concept is not just about a word it's about action dharma is how we do the right action and in anusara we like to to teach and study and embody the concept of balanced action. So basically, basically balanced action is um, that one thing which holds the dharma. Balanced action means when I act and I create with my actions health, harmony, beauty, and safety, and happiness for me. And for everybody else, or if not for everybody, for those who I can. So Dharma is doing the good thing, but not keeping yourself out of that. <laughs> Holding a, ourselves as teachers and students and just humans into the Dharma. Like, um, this is very important to remember for me in daily life and I believe for you too. In Anusara Yoga, we believe in the bigger picture, in seeing first, going first big, and then returning back to the detail, to the practical stuff, to serve the heart first and mind uh, to be there and just to organize the how to. Like we all wanted to do that class, we were inspired to do that. And then we get together a little bit earlier just to find how to, where's the camera, where the mat and stuff like that. So we went to the detail, but now we are going back again to the bigger picture and we want to start and just to feel our breath, body and our voices in one and create a beautiful practice, hopefully. Thank you again for sitting on your mat and being with us. Please join your palms together, close your eyes and just feel your breath and remember why you are here. Why you're doing what you do. Not only today, but every day. Remember what you what you want to serve, what you're standing for. Like Arjuna, he wanted to know, he needed answers. And just we are all here for the same reason. We all want to be healthy, happy, thriving, experiencing life to its fullest. And we do that by remembering the one pulsating and vibrating spirit, which we are part of, very important part. Now feel your pelvic and your sitting bones, your feet on the ground and draw energy from the earth through your feet and leg bones to the center of your pelvis. 
keeping that draw energy from the sky through your head and heart and mind to the center of your pelvis. Feel strong and steadfast and extend from that place the energy back to the earth freely and choose the shine from your heart to the sky, to the stars and the moon, which is full tonight and it's here to brighten our practice. And then feel the pulsation, spanned up, like you are contracting and expanding in the rhythm of life, in the rhythm of your own soul, your own dharma, the Svadharma. Svadharma means my own dharma, how I stand for my own heart. And let's connect our voices to three chants of Om and one on the Anusara invocation. If you know that one, if not, just hum or listen and stay connected to the vibration. Please take a full breath in, exhale. Gently bow in front of your heart and open your eyes and please come to standing. Come to standing position. You will watch Anna and listen to me. Uh, and feel, feel free to connect through the chat if you need something. Okay, I'll be right here watching you and observing the cameras. So stand in the front of your mat and just pause and feel your breath moving through you. And just feel your feet down to the earth, connected and strong. Take a look on your foundation and bring your palms in front of your heart. From the pelvic, lift up your arms and reach the sky. Slowly exhale and bring your arms down. Just bring your arms down, nothing else. Standing and Arm work, arms up, inhale, arms down, exhale. Inhale, lift your arms, nothing else, just simply we move our arms with the breath. And again, feel your arms lifted by the breath. Do not rush, take your time. Stand firmly and strong on your feet. Last one, lift your arms, inhale, reach for the stars and exhale, bring your palms close to the chest and release your arms, stand in Tadasana. Now look to your feet and please place your feet in parallel position. Align the center of your ankle with your second toe. This is considered parallel position. And again, bring your arms together, palms together in front of your heart. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, come to the ground. Arms on the ground. Palms on the ground. Yes, sorry. And hold your shins. Come closer to your legs. Inhale, look forward. 
Stay strong, open your heart space, exhale, come down. Inhale, look forward, extend the heart, root to the earth, exhale, come down. Last one. Inhale, send your heart forward, root from the legs. Exhale, bow. Bring your right leg back. Stay strong in your back leg, lift the heel, and inhale, extend your heart forward. Just feel and pause and feel how you stand on your mat. Exhale, step forward, bow. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bow again. And send your left leg back. Lounge. Keep your back leg strong and soften the front leg. Make your back knee strong. Inhale, look forward. Keep your heart open. And exhale, bow again. Uttanasana. Root down your legs and inhale, open your heart and lift your arms up in the sky. Exhale, palms together in front of your chest. And release into Tadasana. Again, pause and feel your feet on the ground. Settle your foundation. Bring your palms in front of your heart. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, bow in Uttanasana and step into down dog, downward facing dog. Make your finger pads strong on the earth. Settle your feet in parallel position and take a big, nice inhale, expand yourself, big bright heart. And keep your arms strong, come to plank. Bring your knees on the floor and stay. With your shoulder back, come on your belly. Stretch your leg, inhale, and squeeze the legs together, come to cobra. Maybe little one, not too big for now. Send your heart forward and go back to downward facing dog. Right leg forwards, big step. Left leg forward, Uttanasana, bow. Firm your legs, lift your arms, come up to standing, inhale. Exhale, namaste, hands in namaste, and release. Again, settle the foundation, feel supported by the earth, expand your heart, and bring your palms together again. Inhale, reach your arm up like you reach for the sun. Exhale, touch the earth. Open your legs a little bit like the, the wide as the mat is. Bend your knees. And again, inhale, look forward. Make your legs strong and send your hips a little bit back. And exhale, stretch your legs straight. Bow again, Uttanasana, wider. Yeah. And from here, come to downward facing dog again. Make your legs strong, your arms strong. Finger pads and lift your armpits up. Connect to the shoulder blades. Connect your arms to your heart from the center of the earth and then send the energy back to the earth. Inhale, come to plant. Exhale, lie on your belly. Make your legs strong. Make your side body longer. Extend the ribs, shoulders back and slowly lift the cobra. Just Feel moved by the breath and feel moved from within. Exhale, come back to downward facing dog. Right leg forward, left leg forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, stretch forward, reach for the highest. Exhale, come down. 
strong leg. Lift your arms up. And to standing, exhale, arms together to the front of your heart. Release and pause. Settle your feet on the mat. Just observe yourself. Observe the breath. Palms together again. Make your legs strong and from the pelvis, root down into your mat. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, come to Uttanasana. Right leg back. Left leg back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come to plank. Keep your finger pads strong, keep your shoulders back and slowly lower down to your belly. Strong legs, shoulders back. Come to Cobra and just widen your heart. Let your heart become big and strong like the sun and pull your palms towards the center of your pelvic. Just extend the heart and come back to downward facing dog. Right leg forward. Left leg forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, arms together. And release your arms. Stand in Tadasana, like strong and steadfast like the mountain. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, palms together. Inhale, arms up in the sky. Exhale, come to the earth, bow. Right leg back. Make your right leg strong. Tuck the midline, hug your legs toward the center of the mat and lift your back thigh a little bit to the sky. From the tailbone, connect to the earth and bring your arms on the hips. Feel stable and connected. Open your arms to the side and lift them to the sky. Inhale. Keep your shoulders back and connected to the heart. From the pelvic, shine your light and radiance to the earth. Shine your right to the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg forward. Keep your back leg strong. Oh, it's the other leg, yes. So right leg forward, yeah. Keep the back leg strong and inhale. Inner body bright. We always remember first to take the breath. Sometimes we forget and squeeze the legs strong. Lift your back thigh up and back. Connect from the tailbone, hands on the hips. Pause, shine from your heart and lift your arms up in the sky. Reach for the highest, reach for what is health and beauty and strength for you. Exhale, come to downward facing dog. Connect your finger pads. Feel the breath. Come to plank. Exhale, lie on your belly. And lift to cobra. Just for the experience of opening, just for your own enjoyment. And come back to down dog. Right leg forward, left leg forward, Uttanasana. Keep your legs strong and keep your thighs back. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, down. Open your arms and reach for the sky. Shine like a thousand suns. Exhale, palms together in the front of your chest and release. Now take a, a white star, as a star pose, as we call it. Any side you want, just to be able to see the camera. Open your arms and draw an imaginary line from your wrists towards your feet. Just with your, with your eyes, just see where your wrist is and draw the line. So this is approximately 
the distance which is uh, balanced for you, for your body. And inhale, make your heart brighter. Exhale, draw energy from the center of the earth through your feet, through your ankles and leg bones and thighs to the center of your pelvis. This is what we call muscular energy. So feel your muscles strong. And again, inhale, spread your uh, groins back, your hips back. Exhale, connect from the tailbone. Make a clasp behind your back. Interlace your fingers. And keep the elbows bent. Just make your side body long, inhale. And with the exhalation, draw your shoulders up and back. Now extend the arms away with strong legs. Bend the knees a little bit and bow forward. Keep the legs strong. Stand your thighs a little bit back. And from there, root from your pelvic down. And maybe you want to stretch your legs straight, your knees straight. Feel your head relax it and feel your heart open. But never forget that your legs are strong. We never forget that we are strong and supported, part of something bigger. Palms on the hips, lift your head, lift your heart, inhale, come up, reach for the sky. Exhale, palms together and open again your arms. Turn your right leg to the right side in warrior two. And just make sure that uh, your back leg is strong and your front leg is soft, maybe around 90 degrees. So yeah, just feel the balance. It's about balanced action. We don't want the front leg to uh, dominate. Just make the back legs also strong. And inhale, spread your heart, spread your light around and squeeze your legs together. Exhale, bring your elbow on your knee and the other arm on the hip, which is basically left arm on the hip, I believe. Squeeze the legs together. Make a strong container of your for your power to not lose it. And open again the thighs back. Exhale, connect from the pelvic and from the tailbone down to the earth. Inhale, lift your arms up to the sky. Stay there and bring your shoulders back. Extend the sides of your neck. Extend your head, your crown. Turn your palm toward the wall and stretch your arm away. Like maybe, yeah, <laughs> like this. Or if you have a shoulder sensitivity, just keep your arm up on, on your hip. It's your choice. We always have. The, the right to choose what is good for us, what is dharmic for us, even in asana. Bring your both arms down and just pause again. Feel if you need to bring your legs closer or just observe your stance, the distance between your legs. Squeeze the legs again and bring your thighs back and from the tailbone root down to lift your free arm into the sky. In Parjvakonasana, deeper Parjvakonasana actually. So if you keep hugging your midline, feel the legs strong and steadfast and connected. From here, extend your front leg in Trikonasana. And maybe you're gonna need a block, you decide. If you see that it's difficult to stay down or your lower back is stiff and the space is limited, take the block, I encourage you. From here, inhale, keep your shoulders back, keep your thighs back, and from the tailbone, connect, make a connection to the earth from your tailbone. Send the arm away, bring, the, bring it parallel to the floor maybe, or if you prefer, keep your arms up. Feel your legs strong and connected. Support your heart and shine. We always remember to shine. It's how you feel, what you feel. Exhale, bend the front knee. Inhale, come to warrior two. Again, hands on the hips. Bring your legs to the first position. Uh, 
neutral position. It's like this stance is like open to dasana. Think like this. Every asana is to dasana. Close your legs and release. Maybe you want to shake your legs, shake your arms. And just pause and feel. How is my right side? How, how, feels my, how it feels on my left side? Just feel the contrast if it's there. And open again. Open your legs and arms and draw that line from your wrist to your feet. Take a big, nice breath. Remember, breath is everything. We don't breathe, actually. We have been breathed. The universe is breathing through you. Turn your left leg to the left side, bend it slowly, and just squeeze the legs towards each other. Make your muscles strong. Make your muscles embrace your bones and make you feel steadfast on your yoga mat. Inhale, bring your hips back, tie ties back, and from the tailbone, root to the earth. Inhale, shine your heart, keep your shoulders back, extend the beauty of your face and eyes around you. Keep your other arm on the hip and just pause again. Remember the breath, remember what, why you are doing what you are doing. Squeeze the legs toward the center. Send your thighs back. Let them blossom and open and exhale. Keeping that, send the tailbone down. Inhale, lift your arm from that place of integration. Shine again, open again from within. Let your heart really choose how it wants to walk on earth. Send the arm um, straight ahead. Bring it parallel to the floor. So yeah, we... We need to experience our strength and beauty and freedom. That's why we practice. Bring your arms down. Eventually, stretch your front leg straight. But if it's difficult, just use the block or don't push yourself too much. So we are in Trikonasana. Strong legs. Inhale. Bring your arm on the hip. Big breath. Inhale. Inner body bright. Make your feet strong on the earth. Feel supported. Feel the element of earth is giving you nourishment in order to stand strong. And by that strength, open your hips back. Keep the opening. Connect to the earth. This is the balanced action. I keep the opening and then I connect again. Inhale, lift your arm up. Open the shoulders back, the chest up. Feel free, feel spacious, feel ready to, to be who you want to be. And send the arm away, like parallel on the floor and through your fingertips, shine out. Stay strong on your feet, root down to the earth, bend the front knee and come up into warrior two. Palms together. Turn your foot, turn your feet, and release. Close your feet together again. Okay, shake, 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 shake. Shake your arms, shake your legs. Nice, beautiful. Thank you. You you are doing great. Come to uh, come on the front of your mat into dasana. So it's challenging. We are not together. We are through our screens and phones and whatever you have uh, but the energy is still strong and goes I believe in all bodies as I see you bring your palms together again close your eyes close your eyes and just take a big breath and just calm your heart and just feel strong just feel free and remember you're part of something bigger we all are and this is the practice to remember that big self, that big Krishna, our advisor, our guru, and our soul friend. Inhale, open your arms, open your eyes, arms in the sky, exhale, touch the ground. Wow.
Send your right leg back, left leg back, downward facing dog. Take a look on your finger pads. Make sure that your the center of your wrist is parallel to the line of your mat. This is will be good for your wrist line. Is parallel with the line of your mat. This is good for your shoulders and wrists also. So, yeah, and make your finger pads. Up your shoulders back, connect your shoulder blades to the heart, and draw energy from the earth to that heart. Let it nourish. Let it become strong and beautiful and energy to the earth from the heart to the fingertips, from the heart to the pelvic, and your feet down to the earth. Inhale, come to plank. Exhale, lie on your belly. Bring the legs together and make a clasp behind your back, behind your lower back. Keep the legs strong together, hug the middle line and press the knees down so your pelvic is lifting just a little bit up. Keep that and send the tailbone down to the earth. Extend the side body, keep the shoulders back, connect it to the heart. Stretch your arms straight. Press your feet down and lift the heart, lift the head. Stretch away your heart and stay as high as you want to stay. It's your choice. Bring the palms on the floor, lift into cobra. Exhale, come to downward facing dog. Nice. Bring your right leg forward. Left knee down, hands on the hips. Pause, take a breath. Make your foundation strong and connected. Inhale, inner body bright. Exhale, squeeze the legs towards each other. Bring your hips back and from the tailbone, root down to the earth can make the connection. Lift your arms and hold your head. Like, just hold the center of your head. Close the elbows a little bit in. And then lift your armpits and shoulders up and back. Connect your shoulders back to the back of your heart. Keep that connection. Inhale, lift and stretch up. And let the breath guide you into the bigger expression. Stretch your arms up, straight arms, reach for the sky. Inhales, open your heart. Exhale, come to downward facing dog. Inhale, step your left leg forward, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, left leg, we have. Okay, knees on the floor and squeeze, start squeezing the legs towards each other. This is the muscular energy which contains uh, so it keeps us strong. Inhale, lift your arms on the hips. Yeah. Keep the legs strong. Inhale, ties back. Exhale from the tailbone. Bring the energy in a balanced way without losing what you have built already. Hold your head. Shoulders up, shoulders back. Connect your shoulder blades and open from the pelvic to the ground and from the pelvic through your heart and crown of your head away. Stretch your arms, reach up, and just create from within your bigger expression. Exhale, come to downward facing dog. Stay bright inside. Stay strong in your finger pads. Keep your shoulders connected. Come on your toes. Lift your toes up. Bend your knees slightly. And squeeze the chins towards each other. Squeeze the palms towards each other. Just hug in and feel the strength in your arms and legs. Inhale, open your hips back, thighs back. Keep that opening. Stretch your knees, stretch your heels down, and from the heart, send energy 
through your arm bones to the very center of the earth. From your heart, extend the pelvic energy through your heels down to the earth. And just feel that opening. Inhale, left, right leg forward into pigeon. Okay, keep your finger pads down and feel the position of your feet. Front foot is active, especially the pinky toe, the small one. Back foot is hugging the midline. Back foot is straight. Just have uh, the awareness if your back foot is turning out. Hugging, keep it straight and strong. Again, squeeze the legs towards each other. Gently push your thighs back. And from the tailbone and the right hip, ground the energy down to the earth. Hands on the hips. Excuse me. Inhale, inner body breath. Make your heart wider, big as an ocean. Hold the center of your head. Elbows in, shoulders up and back. Imagine that you are lifting yourself, like you're pulling yourself up to the sky, but simultaneously you're rooting down to the earth. Extend your arms up, reach up, make your heart strong, connected and open and creative. Exhale, come to downward facing dog. Yeah, and remember balance action is the balance between Effort and grace. How try you? How hard you try? Sometimes when we try too hard, we block grace. Left leg forward in pigeon. Pause. Reflect. Observe your feet. Your feet is foundation. Make your toes active. Pay attention on the back leg. Inhale. Squeeze the legs together. Squeeze the knee towards the front heel. Hands on the hips. <clears throat> Bring your shoulders up and back. Keep your side body long. And move your hips back, your thighs back and ground from the tailbone. Pull your right hip a little bit backwards and your front or your right hip a little bit forward. Inhale, hold your head, lift yourself, shoulders up, armpits up and back. Extend your arms, but don't lose the shoulders. Keep the integration, keep the strength. Exhale, come to downward facing dog. Yeah, we always return to something we know. This is the downward, downward facing dog. We know it. Bring your knees down and your feet together. Open your knees as wide as the mat is and sit back and just relax in child's position. Child's pose. Yeah. Relax your arms, relax your head. Child's pose is the pose which teaches us how to make a step back and reflect. How to take our time to make a choice from a bigger perspective eventually. Child pose is teaching us how to soften and how to, and how to surrender the mind to something bigger as the earth is right now. Soften the heart, soften the breath. Your best, your best effort is enough. And inhale, return to the facing dog again. Nice. Step your right leg forward. Make your back leg strong. And turn your back foot to one side. We are going uh, we are going to do the humble warrior. So yeah. Turn your back foot to parallel. 
bring your arms to the hips and come to come up. Arms on the hips, come up. Yeah. Inhale, make your foundation strong. Bend the front leg and make your back leg strong. Make a clasp behind your back. Lift your shoulders up and back. Your thighs back. Connect from the tailbone strongly. Keep that. Extend your arms and bow. Bow in front of you. Yeah. Like Arjuna is bowing in front of Krishna because he recognizes him. And this is how we recognize our own heart and our own self. Bring your arms down on the floor and send them uh, in like down dog arms, but on the figure, finger pads. Basically, this is spider, spider pose, yeah. Inhale, keep your legs strong. Send your thighs back again. Root from the tailbone. Yeah, watch Anna. And uh, ground your front hip, ground your front hip. The, yeah, side body long, legs strong. Finger pads strong, soften your heart, but keep your shoulders back. Inhale, come back, hands on the hips. Come up, yeah. And come to downward facing dog. Yeah. Send the other leg forward. It's the left leg, I think. Turn the back leg parallel. Bring your arms on the hips, arms on the hips, and come to standing. Check your foundation. Your front heel uh, should be in the same line with the center of your back arch. Squeeze the legs towards each other and send the hips back again from the tailbone, root down. Make a clasp behind your back. Keep your shoulders up and back. Make your arms straight. Inhale, look up. Squeeze the legs and bow. Keep your left hip grounded, down and back, down and back, yeah. Exhale, release your arms and come to spider pose, like walk your leg, arms forward. Basically, our legs are in warrior two, our arms are in downward facing dog on the fingers. Amazing pose. Keep the legs strong, Send the left hip back and down. Keep the connection, lift your arms and shoulders and come up, hands on the hip, come to standing, stay strong and come to downward facing dog. I was in dilemma to go on downward dog straight or to come up, but yeah, I decided this is safer place to go. Inhale, come to plank, check your finger pads, strong nails, make your nails go white. Exhale, come on your belly. Squeeze the legs together, lift your armpits up and back, connect the shoulders, cobra, full expression. Yeah. Keep the legs strong, hug your midline with steadfast and power and shine your heart freely. Exhale, release, come on your belly again. Yeah, nice. And just take a pause, support your forehead with your palms like this and rest. Yeah, like supta savasana. Just soften. Sometimes yoga makes us not want to put some effort and try harder. But yeah, find the balanced place of softness. Okay. And come on your elbows now. Elbows under the shoulders. Bring the, the legs together, knees together, feet together, everything together. Like you have one leg, not two legs. Together. <laughs> yeah, strong legs. And make sure your elbows are under the shoulders. Inhale, make your side body long. Yeah, your shoulders back connected to the heart. 
Press the knees a little bit down and lift the hips. Connect the tailbone down to the earth and turn your left arm in. The lower arm in and bring the right arm back into Keep the shoulder up and back. Don't push too much if it's challenging. Make sure your toes are active and you're hugging the midline. Inhale, lift your head. Look up, 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 up. Extend the heart and exhale, release. Let's switch arms. Bring the right under your chest. Hold the left leg with your left palm. Inhale. Make your heart space bigger and connect your legs to the midline. Again, extend the energy of the tailbone down to the earth and through your feet. Inhale, lift the heart up. The pelvic and the heart. Look for the highest. Look for the higher vision. Exhale, release and come back to downward facing dog. Nice. Yeah. And feel the vibration, feel the power of your arms and legs, but also feel the flexibility, the softness, the moving energy. So again, inhale, come to plank. Exhale, lower on your belly. Stay down and hug the midline with your legs. Bend the knees. Hold your both uh, legs, your both feet, your arms, if that's possible, in preparation for the Nurasana. Okay, I see you can all do it. Make a pause and just take a big breath. Hug the midline with your legs. Press the knees down, root from the tailbone, and with long side body, lift up. Connect the shoulder blades to the heart. Breathe in. Open the chest space. Breathe behind your heart. Breathe on your back. Look for the highest. Up, up, up. Exhale. Release and come to downward facing dog. Great, you guys. Amazing. Yeah. Again, right leg forward. Left leg forward. Uttanasana. Place your feet parallel. Activate your toes. And you may want to go to detail like your feet are sitting bones apart and your uh, center of your ankle is aligned with the, the second toe. Spread your feet, ground them down. Yeah. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bow. We can always go to details, but you remember the bigger idea. Lift your arms, lift your heart, reach for the sky, up and release your palms in front of your chest. Okay. Keep your feet grounded in neutral position. We're going to do a tight stretch again from standing position. Okay. Uh, bring the body weight on your left leg and bend the right knee. I think the other side is better. Yeah, like this. Hold, hold your right foot with your right arm, like behind your pelvis. Yeah, like this. Sorry. Okay, we found it. Inhale, stay strong, rooted and grounded. Inner body spacious and bright. Pack the midline and make sure the toes of your right foot are active. Press your thighs back and keep your shoulders back from the tailbone, connect to the earth. Lift your left arm up to the sky and just gently bring your heel close to your belly. Yeah, it's a, just a simple thigh stretch. Not baby Natarajasana yet. But now we're going there. From here, lower your arm. Connect it to your shoulder and kick back in baby Narakarajasana. Make your legs strong. And just imagine that you are in a ball position, but in one leg. And exhale, release. 
Okay, body weight on the right side, right foot, right leg. No, you don't turn. You just you just put the body weight on the right leg. Hold the left one. Hold your left foot. Yeah, too much information. Inhale, inner body open, inner body open, and hug the midline. Make your legs strong. Inhale, keep your thighs backward. And exhale, stretch your tailbone down and bring the heel gently to your pelvic. From here, lift your arm up to the sky. Keep the shoulder connected. And make your left knee longer. Extend your leg bones. Extend your hips. Extend your head, heart up to the sky. And lower your arm, connect the shoulder. Baby Natarajasana, kick back. Yeah. Imagine that your body is uh, in a bow position. From the pelvic, kick away your leg, send your heart up in the sky. Exhale, release, palms together. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, bow. Come to downward facing dog. Make your finger pads strong and root it down connected to something bigger and lift your armpits, lift your shoulders up and back. Connect the shoulder blades. Squeeze the palms towards each other and maybe you can bend the elbows a little bit to the side. Bend the elbows in downward facing dog. Squeeze the palms towards each other and squeezing, you can extend the arms straight and strong. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Keep the integrity of the shoulders. Bend the right knee. Keep the toes active. And keeping the strong shoulders open to the right side, open your hips to the right. And it's your choice how much. Look under your right armpit. Press away the earth and exhale, come back. Lift the left leg up. Again, check your shoulders, check your finger pads, stay strong, stay connected, bend the left knee, open to the left side, but keep the right shoulder up. You know, it's the opposite side. Remember the breath, inhale, full expression, exhale, step down, inhale, plank again. Plank, lower on your belly, bring the legs together, and bring your palms under the elbows. Palms under the elbows. Connect your palms to the earth and lift your shoulders, lift your head and heart, shine into cobra. Full breath, big breath, nice, big, bright heart. And exhale, come back to downward facing dog. Okay. Bring your right leg forward into a pigeon. Mm. Make sure your back leg, you know where it is. <laughs> you have awareness of the back leg, which means it's in your true position. Inhale, activate the toes. Make your heart bright and big. Exhale, squeeze the knees and the heels towards each other. Hands on the hips. Great. Now bring your left palm on your left hip. Oh no, the right one, sorry. <laughs> I was looking on the screen. So if you have right leg forward, you have a right arm on the right hip or yeah, the right thigh. Squeeze the legs strongly eight times like Squeeze, release, squeeze, release, like three and release, four and release. We are practicing muscular energy. Five, six, seven, and the eight is up, 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 keep it. Reach for the back leg without losing the muscular energy. Integrate the sh shoulders up and back and bring the heel close to your pelvic. 
arm front of you, connect the shoulder, hold your head, hold the center of your head and press back in full expression. If you feel that you want to pause, pause. Exhale, release, come to downward facing dog. Left leg forward into a pigeon. Place your back leg in neutral, activate the toes. Inhale, squeeze the legs towards each other. Hands on the hips, just for eight times. One, and release, two, and release, four. Exercise your inner thighs, six, seven. Keep the eight strong, up, up, up. Contain the energy and reach for your back foot. Bring your thighs back. From the tailbone, connect. Inhale. Lift your arm up. Hold your, the center of your head. Gently press the heel and open your toes. Make your pose bigger and wider. Just enjoy it and release back to downward facing dog. Okay. Yeah. Great. Inhale, come to plank. Make your finger pads strong. Pause. Feel your lower back full of light and spacious. Keep it and lower to the floor. Come on your belly. Inhale, clo close your legs, squeeze the legs towards each other. Cobra, full expression. Yeah. Pull your palms towards the center of your pelvis. Pull your uh, armpits up and back. Lift your chin, lift your eyes. Enjoy. Remember the why. Come back to the hour facing dog. And come to sit in. And lie on your back. Keep your knees bent. And just feel how the earth is supporting your back body. Take time and just feel the earth, nothing else. Feel your feet, how you touch the ground and bring your feet uh, hips apart, open like hips apart, but in neutral position, parallel, parallel feet, hips apart. Yeah, it's a little bit more open than Tadasana feet. Now make sure your ankles are under your knees. Gently belt, bend your elbows. Inhale, make your side body longer and bring your shoulders up and back. Just let your shoulders rest consciously on Connect them down to the earth. Press your elbows down and activate your fingers, the fingers of your palm. Yeah. And slowly, slowly roll your shoulder blades close to the heart. From the back part of your upper palate, you know where the upper palate is, yeah. We know where it is when we make the sound. You may want to make the sound like just to be sure where is that uh, place. Yeah. From that upper palate, press down to the earth gently and lift your heart from within. Bring your strong legs connected to the midline and Send your thighs and hips back. Thighs back. You will feel your lower back lifting just a little bit when you send the thighs back. Lift your hips up. Interlace your fingers behind your uh, pelvic. Bring the elbows in, shoulder blades closer to the heart. Stretch your arms straight. In Setu Bandha. Yeah. From your feet, draw energy through the center of your heart, from your upper palate, 
draw energy again to the center of your heart and lift the heart up, up, up in full expression. Release your fingers, release your palms. And slowly bring down first the pelvic and then everything else. Palms on the belly, please. Hold your belly with your palms and just take a breath. Observe, observe how it feels. Is it nurturing you or not? This is how we know if we are taking the right action, if it sustains us, if it makes us grow, or if it connects us to something bigger. So now, I just come to sit and watch the next one is Urdhva Dhanurasana, and maybe you just want to see first the details. Come to sit and watch. We're going to do a demo. Yeah? So, Anna, you are uh, in perfect position for that. Don't get up. Stay there. Yeah? So, Anna is with me today because she's my soul friend, and I... Uh, wanted her to be with me and i trust her she's an amazing person when she's teaching yoga everybody's leaving the class happy <laughs> i see fa happy faces going out of the room and i know that she's like the sun she's touching everybody so deeply so i thank you anna for being here with me well now feel your breath anna yeah feel your foundation Make sure you have awareness of what your foundation, your feet, bend the elbows and bring your palms um, close to your ears on the ground, like ready for Urdhva. And just spread your fingers, okay? make your side body long and bring your shoulders back to the earth, up and back and connect your sh shoulder armpits. Keep your elbows in. Do not lose the elbows. And from here, just lift your pelvic. Squeeze the legs, squeeze the legs together. With integration of the shoulder, come on your head. Pause. Stay there. And connect again the shoulders. Keep that connection, shoulders back. Press down to the earth and lift your heart in Urdhva. Make sure you have finger pads strong down to the earth. Keep your legs connected. Inhale, full expression, like a thousand suns, Krishna's thousand suns. And inhale, chin in, lower down, bend your elbow, support on your head, and then come slowly down, 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 and release. Palms on the belly, and yeah, she's relieved. Well, thank you. Are you ready? To give it a try, I'm going to give it on the three steps. So you may choose which one you're going to take and don't go further if you don't feel okay to do that, right? It's your choice. Come on your back, lie on your back, bend the knees. <laughs> Step your feet under the knees. Make sure your feet are hips apart open as wide as your hips are yeah and your feet are grounded bend the elbows press down to the earth yeah connect the back side of your head the upper palate and inhale remember why you do that why you're here tonight yeah we are here for the same reason Inhale, make your legs strong and hug the midline. Send your hips back and lift the pelvic. Connect the shoulder blades to the heart. Again, make your heart supported, strong. Yeah. From here, bring your palms close to your ears. Connect the shoulders and make sure your Palms and your fingers are, look, are looking towards your heels. Spread them and ground them. Shoulders back, head, uh, heart up to the sky. Come on your head, the top of your head and stay. 
Connect the shoulders again. Keep the elbows in. And if you want to do the leap, do it. Stretch your arms straight. If you want to stay down, just stay down. Bravo, Vasily. Bravo, Sofia. Nice. You, everybody. And Zaneta, amazing. Extend the heart. Keep it open and wide. And exhale, come down and just pause. Enjoy. Close your eyes. Yeah. Keep your legs on the earth, Sophia. <laughs> We're going to do twist a little bit later. And just, yeah, feel your breath. Observe how it feels. Yeah, that's nice. Balanced action between effort and grace. Balanced action between stability and freedom. Creates health and beauty, harmony in our life. So yeah, we are free to choose. Okay, from here, bring your right leg, um, cross your right heel on the left knee. Yeah. Make your toes active, ties back. And squeeze your legs gently towards each other. From here, hold your left leg under the knee. Interlace your fingers. In Sukirandrasana. And stretch your leg up in the sky. Vasily, hold the other leg. Yeah, and stretch. And just press your hips back. Like, imagine that you want to create a little bit of space behind your lower back. George, you may take uh, the belt, I think, or something. Yorgo, Anehis, Zoni, Valdi. Okay. He doesn't have a belt. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Release and switch legs. Left leg, cross it. Activate your toes, hug the midline. Uh, interlace your fingers behind the other leg. I think it's your right leg. Yeah. Stretch it up in the sky. Activate the toes. Yeah. You may choose to have your knee bent. It's okay. Yeah. Integrate the energy. Keep your legs strong. Hug the midline and open your left knee away from your left shoulder. Left knee away from the left shoulder, and you may feel the hip is opening a little bit more. Yeah. Send your leg bones away from the pelvis. Send your heart and crown away. And exhale, release. Step down. Nice. And from here, just again, pause, connect to the breath. Happy baby. Bring your hips and hold your feet like a little baby, happy that Shavasana is coming. <laughs> we all love Shavasana. Make your toes active, happy toes, strong muscles of the legs and press your thigh bones back away from your heart. Connect the shoulders. Maybe you want to bend your elbows. Connect the shoulders and the shoulder blades. Stretch your heart and mind away. And if somebody wants to stretch the legs straight, you're free to do it. But remember, is that nourishing? Is that nice for you? Are you enjoying it? Hug your knees close to the chest. Give yourself a big hug. And yeah, it's time to release and maybe you want to switch off your lights. We're going to enjoy Shavasana. Stretch your legs straight. Yeah. <clears throat> switch off the lights. Visit the photo. I'm speaking a little bit Greek. And just take your time to release. Yeah. 
and soften and keep your eyes closed. It's also the play of darkness and light. With makes this right beautiful. So we need both. Life is born in darkness. Enjoy it. Enjoy yourself and your body, heart and mind. Let it melt on the earth. Let it trust the big mama. Let your worries and everything which is, which makes you think limited and feel limited. Let it down. Release it. Exhale. Sometimes in Darkness, we are able to see better our inner form. We naturally turn inwards to our heart. which is the abide of the self. And we are ready like Arjuna to listen and see and receive the wisdom The wisdom of the heart. But it's often. You just feel being breathed. Life is breathing through you. The winds of the universe are moving your belly. The air you're breathing right there you are is the same air I breathe right here. It's the same energy. And through your body, the energy of symmetry and harmony flowing through you like a wave. And just enjoy. It's all about that. That's the highest vision.
and bring one palm in your belly and one palm in your heart and just make a physical connection. And your knees. Turn to one and out there. Let the breath move you. And when you are ready, gently and slowly come to sit. Sit and bring the palms together. Keep your eyes closed just for a little bit more. Become aware of your foundation and activate your toes. Feel your legs towards the center gently, not too much effort for the last position. And Send your hips back to the earth. Make your side body tall and long in enjoyment. Connect your shoulders from the center of your pelvic. Connect to Mama Earth again. Just feel the strength in your lower body. Yeah, and from the pelvic and the heart and the crown again. Connect to the wisdom of the stars and the heavens. We are part from all of it. We are always connected, never apart. But now we are doing it consciously. We choose it. That's the dharmic choice. And just radiate your beauty and freedom around into the room and maybe into your town and your country. And let's connect our energies wherever we are as one. Feel the connection to everybody who is present here, no matter how far. Yeah. And remember that part of you, which is always seeking answers and wanting to be guided and lead it from the heart, is your best friend, soul friend, advisor, which are the other, like Krishna is. May we all be courageous to follow that. And may we all remember that we are part of the same energy, which encompasses the thousand suns and the oceans of the earth, the stars, and the wisdom of our roots, no matter where we are. Let's close our meeting with Om Shanti Shanti. Inhale. Mm -hmm. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Let's bow in front of each other and let's remember that meeting. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. This was beautiful. Such a lovely class. Thank you for reminding us about the Dharma. Thank you for reminding us about how to bring everything back together to feel the connection. That it's basically what uh, Kula Vrajana was meant to do right to keep the connection of the cooler no matter where you are around europe all of us beating 
and being and reminding that we are all part of the of the same. So thank you so much for that. Lovely, lovely class. I'm thank looking forward to practice it again. <laughs> Um, let me share my screen once more to do the invitation for next month, if I ever manage to share what I want to share. <laughs> okay, let me try again. Where is the stop share? Yeah, did not work because this is what I want to share. It's not working. Oh, whatever. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens. What we do what want we... to share is next month, uh, Collaboration Europe Online will be led by Kai Hill, experienced certified teacher of Anusara from Germany. He will be telling us about optimal sequencing. So that's something to look forward for. It will be July 2nd at 8 p.m. Central European time, 9 p.m. Greek time. Now I learned that. Uh, and I also wanted to remind people, San Madesha, the bigger, the big festival of Anusara is happening this year in Spain. Finally, we're going to be together. It's been already two or three years where we have been online, but now finally we get to be together. And it will be in Barcelona, Barcelona in Spain between November 2nd and the 5th. You can already buy your tickets. I wanted to share how to buy the tickets, but you know, technology sometimes doesn't help. Um, so you can already buy your tickets. The teachers will be announced in the next days. I believe there is still time to uh, apply to teach until June 6th, if I'm not uh, wrong. Estela is there. If I'm wrong, please let us know. Estela is the country coordinator of Spain who is organizing Samavesha. Hello. Yes, until the 6th is the last day to to apply okay so <laughs> to until tomorrow until tomorrow okay so we still yes until tomorrow to... okay um, good 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 and yeah. you don't have to be you don't have to be certified or an experienced certified teacher you can also just apply if you're an element teacher or an inspired teacher so please yes, of course. <laughs> which is a really 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 nice way of also uh practicing our skills right uh checking how how we can improve our skills um to continue teaching and, and developing our our teaching skills uh and the last thing that i wanted to share as well is that if you are enjoying our contributing our sharing of the light our if you want to support our school uh we are uh, very happy to accept any kind of donations uh, that I do have in here, <laughs> in here, so I can I can share that hopefully on the on the on the chat in here. Um, any uh, if I found the chat in there, so I'll put in here the website, it's basically nusarayoga.com slash donate. Uh, as a way of keep supporting the school, as a way of keep supporting our our um, efforts of keeping the Kula together. Thank you so much, Trishtinka, once yeah, again. Uh, if you want to share anything, I don't know if you do workshops, if you do teacher trainings, whatever you want to let us know about how we can communicate with you, please go ahead, do so. Thank you, thank you very much. Well, uh, the next thing uh, I am doing here in Greece, basically, but it's uh, the invitation is open for everyone. We are go going to gather in Palkidiki. It's a beautiful uh, place in Greece uh, by the sea uh, in a camping uh, uh, style. And we are going to practice yoga and many other fitness. Uh, it's a basically fitness event, but I'm representing the Anusara there for the northern part of Greece. And it is going to be with us also. So yeah, it's going to be two and a half days of different activities and yoga has a big part uh, dedicated to it. I'll be there and 
whoever wants to visit Greece and come to Funkidiki and enjoy the sea and the sun and the sangha, that we are going to be there. So please come. <laughs> yeah. Sounds wonderful. Thank you for the invitation. I am also sharing on the chat in case that you do want to apply to present to teach at Kula Brajana Europe Online. Um, as what Fish Tinker has done today, as uh, you know, you just apply into following that link, and then you can share your light with the rest of the European Kula. So, anything else? Anybody I, I can see? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you <laughs> in the in the chat. Uh, many people are are saying happy full moon, uh, <laughs> wonderful class from Munich. A nourishing class, wisdoming and relaxing. So I'm not the only one who really enjoy your class. So thank you so much. Uh, Estela is reminding us if we have any questions or doubts about Samavesha, please write us to Spain at anusarayoga.com. So that's the place where one can write. Okay, so lots of love lots of kisses and thank you so much see you all in samavesha november 2nd and before that we'll keep seeing us each other online next month july 2nd thank you so much i'll stop recording now thank you, thank you anna thank you leticia